Hello, and welcome back to Biker Stuff. As I said previously, I would make a separate video for the Carburetta. This is a Mykuni VM19 SC carb that I'm going to strip down, then put it in my ultrasonic cleaner before reassembling it. Well, that is the plan. I'll need some tubs for the bits to try to keep them separate, but together, if you know what I mean. Once I've taken the choke off and this retaining bolt, I will remove the float chamber and the jets inside. I'm hoping the carb will come to pieces easily, but if not, I might wash it and hope they come out afterwards. I'll remove the float and needle, then all the jets. By putting the brass parts in a tub, they won't fall through the bottom of the wire tray. <laughs> I will then put any oven parts in another tub to keep them separate. With the float out, I can hopefully remove the needle, then the main jet. I am concerned there isn't a pilot jet in here.
This is the air screw, which I tried earlier, and it isn't moving. So I will put it all in the ultrasonic cleaner and hope it comes out afterwards. Can I ask, if you like what you see here on Biker Stuff, please click on my face in the corner. Then, if you ring my bell, you will get notifications when I upload more great videos like this one. Right, <laughs> off to the cleaner. I'll be back. These are the four Kawasaki KM, KE and KD carburettors I have. This is the original. This is from a KE100. This is from a KD80. And I think this might be from a KM100, but I'm not sure. I stripped and cleaned the original carb, hoping it would be immediately usable. But the needle valve was stuck and the pilot jet would not budge. In trying to get the pilot out, I think I have damaged it, so I went on the hunt for a replacement, as you can see. Box number two. This one has a different fuel pipe location, but it's not the end of the world. The needle valve was also stuck, but replaceable, and again, the pilot jet wouldn't budge. Box number three. I don't think I need to say too much about this one. Box number four. This was the cheapest of the three that I bought and is in the best condition, as you can see. I have bought a new needle valve and a float chamber gasket. I have run it through the ultrasonic cleaner already, so now I need to pick the best bits from each box and build it up ready to put on the bike. Okay, first thing is the needle valve. Then the float. Then the main jet. A gasket. And then the float bowl. That's the insides done. It just needs screwing down now.
right pilot screw with spring. Right, this needs to be one and a half turns. So here it goes. Right. One. Right, choke lever. And last but not least, the clamping screw. all that up later. Thank you for watching. I know you liked it, so tell your friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you here next time on Biker Stuff. I hope you liked that. I have selected another video for you here, or you can look at an entire playlist. If you want to subscribe, click here.